Moscow is blaming Kyiv for a strike on a strategic bridge known as the Gate to Crimea. A Russian-installed official said the damage is forcing traffic to be temporarily rerouted. Uh, the Chonhar Bridge connects occupied Crimea and uh, Russian-held parts of Ukraine's southern Kherson region. So far, no official comment from Kyiv, which has said it wants to retake all of its occupied land. Moscow annexed Crimea from Ukraine back in uh, 2014. Seen as Ben Weidman joins us live in Zaporizhia, Ukraine. What have you learned about this, Ben? Well, what we understand, according to the uh, head of the Russian-occupied Kherson region, uh, that four missiles were fired at this bridge early Thursday morning and that one actually struck it, uh, ca causing a large crater. And as you said, all traffic is now being diverted from this uh, bridge on the eastern side of the land uh, of the area that connects Crimea with Kherson. Now, according to this official, uh, they believe that what could have struck uh, the bridge is one of these storm shadow missiles, a long range cruise missile. It has about a range of more than 250 uh, kilometers. This is a missile jointly developed by France and the UK. Uh, and it was just last month that Britain announced that it would be supplying the Ukraine uh, with that missile. Now, as far as we can tell you, the Ukrainians are being a bit mum about all of this. Uh, CNN did contact someone with the intelligence service who said that, that Ukraine will continue its security, its intelligence, its military, and also local resistance to try to expel the Russians and bring Ukrainian control back to Crimea since it was occupied in 2014. Uh, but he said that beyond that, their only comment is to be continued. Max? Okay, Ben Wiedemann in Zaporizhia, Ukraine. Thank you. Ukraine says its slow grinding counteroffensive is showing noticeable success in the south. It posted this video reportedly showing Ukrainian strikes in the Tavria sector on Wednesday. Uh, Ukraine says it destroyed the equivalent of three Russian companies over the last day and its troops continue to advance. Kyiv also says it repelled multiple Russian attacks in the Donetsk region on Wednesday. But Russian President Vladimir Putin claims without evidence that Ukraine has slowed down its offensive because it took serious losses. Ukraine says Russia is employing new tactics in its aerial strikes across the country. It says Russian operators fly their drones and missiles along rivers to avoid Ukraine's air defences. But as Fred Pleitgen reports, Ukrainian Navy ships are trying to counter that move. Night after night, a common theme. Russian aerial attacks on Ukraine cities, air defence viciously fighting back from land, the air and from the water. We got exclusive access to Ukrainian Navy patrol boats that are part of that fight. The Ukrainians say the Russians often fly drones and even cruise missiles along rivers to avoid air defenses. That's why boats like this one play an important role, keeping both cities, but also critical infrastructure, safe. The commander, who only gave his name as Anton, says air defense is a key component of their mission. Are you effective? So I cannot answer that question, how affected we are, but so are we affected? I will say yes. As Ukraine presses on with its counter-offensive, Kyiv acknowledges the Russians are putting up stiff resistance, every yard of territory hard fought. We would certainly like to make bigger steps, the Ukrainian president says. They are smaller than we want, but nevertheless, those who fight shall win. Moscow claiming they are repelling Ukraine's attempted advances. Russian President Vladimir Putin saying his troops are wearing the Ukrainians down. Currently, we're seeing a certain lull. It has to do with the fact that the enemy is suffering serious losses. The Ukrainians fear the Russians might try to infiltrate and destabilize cities like Kiev or smuggle weapons here. So the Navy crew searches all boats and barges on the river. In this search, it was an all clear. They will make a search of the uh, suspected vessel. In the meantime, we will be surrounding them to make sure that nobody is going to leave the vessel, that they will not be under attack. Their work, they say, even more pressing after the recent destruction of the Novokarkovka Dam, which the Russians and Ukrainians blame on each other. The river is also a strategic object, especially now, as you can see what happened in uh, Karkovka. So now you can understand how it is important to make it safe and secure place. Fred Plekin, CNN, Kiev.